Hey, Phil here with foilmount.com. Um, we have a board here with a bit of tail rocker as well as some double concave. Um, what we've done here is made kind of a floating resin uh, platform to install the foil mount on. So we're gonna take you through kind of how um, to do that and then we're gonna install a foil mount on it. This is just a simple wake surfboard. Um, uh, you, can, you can use any kind of, you can do this on any kind of board obviously, a lot of high-end SUPs have a lot of um, tail geometry that you're gonna have to flatten out to install the foil mount. So enjoy the video, let us know if you have any questions. As you know, the foil mount needs a flat surface to mount on to have a good reliable bond. Um, not all boards are created flat on the mounting location. So we're gonna show you how to kind of make your board flat. First, we're gonna start with a barrier made out of tape. I like to get some really tenacious tape um, so none of that resin leaks out. You kind of make a skating rink um, around on the board in the area you want to install. I like to do an outline around kind of the foil mount and then make a skating rink. Um, here it doesn't have to be super pretty. You can sand it to your heart's desire to make it look nice afterward. But, you know, if you put in the time early to make it really nice, then, uh, you know, it'll be less cleanup later. So the most important step of the whole thing is leveling the whole project. It needs to be absolutely level front to back and side to side. This, this is because the method we're using relies on gravity to kind of help settle that resin to make it absolutely flat, um, which is what we want. So this is a set of 80 grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna put a real tenacious scrape on the bottom of that board. You can see it just you know, the resin coat on that fiberglass is just getting scored up there. We're going we're gonna to do circular patterns, little circular patterns here. It's all done. Um, vacuum up the dust and then do a really good job cleaning it up. Look at that. Look at that nice gritty surface. That's what that resin is going to stick to. So um, when you're done with that and you clean it off, you're ready to start coating. So I had two sections that were going to be really deep. Um, I could have used pure resin. It's lighter to mix it with some microbeads. You don't have to do that by any ch by any means, but that's what I did. That's why it looks a little lighter. So I filled the really thick parts first. You can see I'm still level um, with that microbeads. And then this is just pure epoxy resin. And I'm gonna kind of pour it in there. Um, you can thin the resin if you want. This isn't thinned out, but I, I kind of chose a hot day to make this happen. Um, and it's still not flowing, you know, as, as nice as I would have liked. So I, I'm kind of going to, you know, push it out. Another method for making that flow is you can actually use a torch. Later in this video, we use a torch to get the bubbles out of the, uh, the final layer to, to make it nice and flat. Um, the torch heats up the surface and drops the surface tension and then it, all the bubbles go away. Kind of an old trick. Um, but here, yeah, I'm just going to kind of spread this around. Made it, make it as flat as I can mechanically, and then let gravity do its work. So this is the most important part, as I already mentioned. Um, after you get this resin on there, you want to make sure and double check that everything's level. You can see I have my level out, both front to back and side to side. Um, you can fix it later if, uh, you know, it's not level, you can always sand it down with a belt sander. Um, but it's so much easier if you just start with a level surface, do your due diligence to kind of get everything um, as level as you can. And then it just makes it uh, easier later when you go to install, you won't have to do as much um, cleanup on that. So the next part of this is I get everything set. You can see it's already kind of leveling out. But there's a bunch of little tiny imperfections. So I'm going to take a, a blowtorch. You can see here, this is just a propane blowtorch. If you look carefully in the video, you can actually see the, the bubbles disappearing. It's great. Look at that. Perfectly clear. Um, perfectly clear. So one thing you'll have to do after this dries, I don't think I show it in the video here, is once you pull the tape away, the edges sometimes have an edge. You're just going to have to take a belt sander or some, some rough grit sander kind of sand the edges just to make sure that it's kind of rounded. Um, so this is the final kind of piece here. Um, you're going to want to sand that down. Here we go with like a 220 to get it nice and rough so the foil mount has something to stick. Um, I've already cleaned this up with a rag. So this is just the final 
kind of cleaning right before install with some alcohol pads. We're going to make sure and get that uh, nice and clean, get all the oils off. Um, I actually traveled with this board, so I don't know what's on there. I'm just going to take the, you know, the, the alcohol pads that come in the kit and clean it off real well. Make sure that the alcohol dries before installing, obviously. And, um, you know, you'll have a good solid bond um, that will last forever. So whenever I'm installing a foil mat, I always pre kind of peel the backing just because sometimes it's difficult. Um, I'll take a knife edge and just peel all the little uh, backing to get them started. So I'm kind of getting a feel of where I'm going to put that just visually. I always like to stick the back first. You'll see here. So I'm going to take my pre peeled edges. You can kind of see I peeled them up already. Pull them all off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the back. I'm going to stick the very back portion and then I'm going to kind of line it up side to side to make sure it's visually straight with the marks I made. I'm just using the edge of that uh, skating rink we made. Here, I got to get, get it positioned. I always grab it from the center, kind of where the inserts are for the T-nuts. So you get it roughly lined up, stick the back. So it's kind of down and you can see the front end still up, right? You don't want to put it straight down because you'll trap bubbles underneath there. We put these bubble channels in between the, the layers of VHB. So I'm gonna stick that, and then you can still kind of turn it. So I'm gonna turn it a little bit, you know, get it lined up and then start sticking um, back to forward and kind of try and slide all those bubbles out, those bubble channels. And at this point, it's pretty much installed. So I'll kind of just make sure everything's stuck down good and then put some pressure on it with, uh, you know, standing on it here, I'm gonna walk around get some pressure and I'm, I'm doing this quick. You can take a couple of minutes and actually get it. I figured you guys didn't want to watch me, you know, walk around on the board for a couple minutes. You can see it's perfectly flat. That skating rink um, is, is, uh, is really nice. You know, it, it takes up the double concave and the tail rocker. So this was a good install and will provide uh, years of use on this um, repurposed wake surfer board. If you guys have questions or need help with installs, um, give us a call. Um, you can find the foil mounts at a dealer near you or uh, get on the website foilmount.com and order one for yourself. Hope all is well and uh, we'll see you guys out on the water. Thanks.